Santa Claus. We all know the story of Santa Claus. His flying sleigh, his reindeer, and his magical travels. Landing on rooftops and going down our chimneys to deliver gifts. <laughs> That's nonsense. Santa can't land on a roof. That goes against physics. Roofs are way too steep and chimneys are way too narrow for a man of his stature. That is why he has been landing at our airport for decades and is coming back today. Therefore, it's a huge honor and a great responsibility for the entire team. Mr. Santa landing procedure is pretty much the same as for any other aircraft. When he lands, I switch on the follow me sign and safely guide him to his parking spot. Well, this year, I think I will surprise him. Do you think he will like it? There are usually a lot of cookie crumbs to be vacuumed. But before takeoff, we have to spray the aircraft with the icing liquid. Yes, and we gotta be extra careful because Santa pilots are convertible. Security measures for all passengers are the same, no matter how big a celebrity you are. We don't allow any sharp objects longer than six centimeters. Below six is fine. One lighter per person only. Liquids can go through security in containers up to 100 milliliters and packed in a transparent, resealable bag. I am a big fan of Christmas, but I'm just doing my job. It's the toughest day of the year for my department, but we love it. I mean, it's just one piece of a baggage, but the bag is so massive and heavy. We need all the manpower to handle it. I mean, real manpower. Santa is a frequent guest at our VIP center. A lot of celebrities have been here. Now, check out the guest book for yourselves. No, he doesn't have any special requirements, just milk and cookies. However, back in 2003, there was that infamous incident where he asked to remove the venison burgers from the restaurant menu. Overall, he's a super nice fella and a very welcome guest here. And uh, should be uh, here momentarily. Reindeer one approaching, reindeer one approaching. Copy. Oh, and Merry Christmas.